to me. So I'm trying to get into my car and I keep pressing the button so it can open the door. So I keep pressing it and not opening it. <laughs> and I press the... <laughs> I press this button right to make it sound to see why it's not opening. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm locked out. And I hear the alarm on the other car. I'm like, why is the alarm sounding on the other car when I'm in front of my car? It took me a while to realize I was in front of the wrong car. And the car that was making the beeping sound was on the other side. today so this thing is just gonna suffice for now enough of this i could waste my whole day on this thing anyways let's get right into it today today what we're gonna learn about me i like to sleep with a fan on all year round and it's i have been sleeping with a fan i think Ever since I was a teenager, I need to hear that shh. I cannot hear silence because my ears start to like, what I say is they start whistling. Um, it can't be a TV either. I cannot do waterfalls or, wa or rain or any of those, you know, sounds. It, can't it has to be a fan. It has to be a fan. So what happens when I go and sleep over someone's house? The first thing I do, the first question I ask is, do you have a fan? If they don't have a fan, in my mind, it's like the end of the world because I'm not going to sleep. I'm so used to that noise. Before, when I was embarrassed to share that, um, when I used to go away on retreats, the, I used to run to the back and turn on all the little buttons to see if they had a fan and to see if it was loud enough. Most of the time, I was screwed because there was no fan, so it was just pure silence and listening to people sleep, breathing, which was torture. Silence at night for me is just torture. So that's another thing that my husband had to deal with when he came into this marriage. A woman who slept with teddy bears and has to sleep with a fan on. He's still with me anyways. I think he enjoys the fan on too because we don't hear anything with that fan so on. So now, when I go on retreats, I check the website to see if there's a fan in the room. If there isn't, I bring my own. Yes, I bring my own fan. I have friends who know that I bring my own fan. <laughs> I cannot sleep without my comfort blanket and I cannot sleep without my fan. Hey, what's up? So, I bought this mouthpiece here. Uh, I received it yesterday by mail. And it's a 7C. I had this desire to start playing the trumpet. I used to, I didn't used to play, but I, um, I did have one back in 98, 99. So, I bought this. So I can start practicing my techniques with the mouthpiece. And we'll see what we get out of it. One of my friends yesterday texted me and said, I want to surprise you. Can I take you out? This has never happened before, so I didn't know what to reply. And I just said, oh, okay. I didn't ask her where we were going because she said, don't ask that I'll find out on the really way there. emotional as it was because my sister came and said, I have your gifts already for my, yeah. my birthday gifts already. So I opened them. It was like two beautiful outfits. It's coming for me. This is so exciting. I'm nervous. Let's see what she has up her sleeves. So we're here. I don't know where she's taking me yet. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, you. Yes. <laughs> this is where we're going. She told me. I'm not pretty. <laughs> you are pretty. Stop it. Oh, it smells great. Are you guys me? 
Yes. Yes. Is this your first time here? Yes. Alright, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Matt, you want to get just here? Yeah. They're gonna be nice and shiny. Okay. Text and church. Notifications will be sent out if we cancel our service or if we have other something. <laughs> <laughs> important. Important. Uh, other important notices. I am yeah. so feeling this filter. I don't know why, but me like. So today. Let's talk about things that I like and I don't like. I don't like driving. I don't like driving my husband around. I don't like driving men around, period. I won't get into why because it'll be a long story. But, um, yeah, I don't like driving that much. I don't know why either. I love to read. Yeah, I love to read a lot. I don't have a specific genre that I love. But... I'm I don't like liars, I don't like hypocrites, and I totally despise people who always make themselves the victim of everything. I can pick a liar from a lineup, I can smell a hypocrite from a mile away. I love the beach, but I have a fear of the ocean. I love the smell of rain, of wet grass, the wet ground. I mean, all that just does something to it me. It makes me super happy. I can't explain it. And when the sun is out, oh my God. I love taking walks in the park. I love hiking, camping. I just love nature, period.